nothing, forever. Lady Louise paving the way for royal family's devastating decision to Sussexes. Lady Louise paving the way for Archie and Lilibet with special role. Lady Louise Windsor could be a role model for how to be a successful member of the royal family while keeping her independence as a private citizen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may look at how Lady Louise Windsor, 17, maintains her royal profile alongside a life away from the public eye for their children, Archie, 2, and Lilibet, born in June this year. Lady Louise has recently emerged into the royal limelight but has nonetheless protected a sense of privacy and autonomy away from the scrutiny placed on the more senior royals. She is currently completing her A-levels at St. Mary's, Ascot, where she is in her final year. Last academic year, the teenage royal completed her as levels at the single-sex boarding school in Berkshire. It is not known what grades Lady Louise achieved in the subjects of English, drama, history, and politics. Her mother, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, has spoken in the past about the possibility of Lady Louise attending university. In an interview with the Sunday Times magazine, Sophie expressed a desire for her children, who are the Queen's grandchildren, to have a normal upbringing. She added, they go to friends for sleepovers and parties. At weekends we do lots of dog walking and stay with friends. I guess not everyone's grandparents live in a castle, but where you are going is not the important part, or who they are. Lady Louise is the eldest daughter of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, who is the Queen's youngest son. As such, she is entitled to an HRH title, but has instead been styled as the daughter of an Earl. Lady Louise and her brother James, Viscount of Seven, Thirteen, have been raised without these royal titles by their parents. Therefore, Lady Louise faces a choice on her 18th birthday next month, whether to take on her HRH style and princess title. Taking up the HRH title would likely be considered a sign of a move towards more working royal duties. However, Sophie Wessex has said previously, we try to bring them up with the understanding that they are very likely to have to work for a living. Hence we made the decision not to use HRH titles. They have them and can decide to use them from 18, but I think it's highly unlikely. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have shared few details and photographs of their children since their birth, and the couples split from the royal family. The issue of privacy surrounded the Sussexes for many years and sparked backlash from critics who felt they should be more open given their former royal status. Now the Sussexes have left the royal bubble behind they are able to live an entirely private life in California and have more say over how they interact with the public. Despite no longer being working members of the firm they are still much loved members of the Windsor family and the Queen has repeatedly voiced her fondness for the couple and their children despite recent royal dramas. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continue to drift apart from the royal family as the rift still seems very wide at the moment, according to a royal expert. The truth about how Lilibet's christening wounded the relationship between the royals and Harry even more. There is a basic lack of trust on both sides, author Andrew Morton told the Daily Beast. He pointed to other instances where there have been different stories on both sides, adding the example of the mixed messages about whether or not Harry and Meghan sought Queen Elizabeth's permission before naming their daughter after her. The Sussexes are keen on presenting an image of being in lockstep with the Queen, if not anyone else, and are quick to issue threats to those who suggest otherwise, Morton said.